Yes, I do think there is a drug problem in Dublin at the moment. Um, I frequently see people either like shooting up or walking around, generally kind of off their face and stuff. You see it quite a lot around here in Smithfield. Um, certain days of the week, like all along there, there'll be people kind of just, you know, you know. Oh, I, uh, it is a variable. It definitely is a visible drug problem here in the, in the city centre all over. And I have seen them injecting themselves. It's, it's absolutely dreadful. And it's just terrible. We, we were, I was with my granddaughters one day. I'm not going to say where it was, but she actually seen them injecting themselves. It's, it's absolutely, and it's very sad, you know, what's happening around here with the drugs. It's terrible, it's all over. So I've lived in Dublin for about four years, and within that time, I've come across like one or two occasions where I've seen active drug using in the middle of the town. So like on my way, walking by four courts, I've seen two people shooting up like very close to a guard station. And uh, like, I never see anything actively like endangering anyone except for themselves but uh, it's that sad I haven't seen a lot before. Yeah I believe there is actually an uh, upbringing of a, a drug problem in Ireland um, yes I've been seeing evidence of it uh, as I've been traveling through the country uh, needles in kind of like obscure areas and yeah paraphernalia tin foil that kind of thing so the other night when I was in work, uh, I had to cycle up to near uh, Croke Park and then I was kind of cycling around the state. I didn't know, really know where the, the house was, I was looking for one specific number, couldn't find it so I was just kind of looking around eyeballing the different doors and there was a bit of an alleyway down in the middle of the estate that kind of connected one side to the other and uh, there was kind of back gardens either side of it and there was just two people in there shooting up uh, as I was walking by, or well cycling by, it was pretty, uh, pretty rough. Uh, I wasn't kind of turned around and got out of there. <laughs> then I checked Google Maps again and it was actually down the road a little bit, so it's a man. I've lived in Dublin for two years and around my area especially, I'd be walking to college and there'd be a lot of drug activity on the way, even like in the early hours, like it just never ends. And especially walking home, you feel kind of like you're looking out over your shoulder, like, cause there's lots of dodgy people around, so. Another time, um, down at the bottom of the Smithfield Square, there was like two guys trying to, uh, Mulga woman and her boyfriend. They were like tourists from, I think it was Korea, and uh, we were just out, out in the square, myself and my friend, and uh, we just heard screaming, ran down to see what it was, and it was, you know, the woman was screaming. We didn't see the boyfriend at that stage. He was after chasing after the two, two lads that tried to rob him. Um, so we went over and kind of had to break it up and shoot him on, but they were quite obviously like not sober. Um, I can't say what they were on or whatever, but they were obviously not sober and trying to rob this guy. Like, it's pretty bad around here. Everything from um, hash to... God, I don't know what they're doing. And what I am experiencing. 